Okay. Now, dagens næste taler er den hollandske politiske aktivist og meget underholdende provokatør Edwin Wagensfeld. Edwin er leder af patriotische Europæer gegen die Islamisierung des Abendlandes, Begida, i Holland. Sidst kendt for at blive taget i forvaring til en demonstration, fordi han havde iført sig en grisehat. Oh, ja, <laughs> ja det er et fedt billede af. Og herligt, at der også er nogen der til at få et alvorligt emne, bidrager med lidt uh, provokatør humor. Edwin. Thank you, Tanya. I have to do it in English and then in bad English because I don't speak Danish and you don't understand Dutch. So, and the most patriots are knowing me from a video that is made by Hogeza 2014. In that video I say loud and proud, I'm a Dutchman. Yes, I'm proud of my country with a population of 17 millions on a little bit more than 41,000 square kilometer. My heart is sticking for the red, white, blue flag. And it's also an honor for, uh, honor for me to have the Dutch nationality and to be the frontman of Pegida, Netherlands. Just as I am proud to have the Dutch nationality, you will be proud of your Danish nationality. And therefore it's doing so much sadness that we see how our country perish. And we don't go perish because we didn't see the danger. No, it's because we didn't learn from the past. Instead, we Muslims and strangers that come to us clearly showed what we expect. We have been too long too nice. We have been too long watched without doing anything. We have been searching for excuses about abuses committed by strangers who come here. That must stop and that must stop directly. In our countries, you apply our rules, our values and our standards. And there is no excuse when you do that, you don't, didn't do that, sorry. Who can't or who doesn't want, I recommend as soon as possible to leave our countries. And that means I will that we live in a liberty in my country and I decided what I say. I decided what I think. And I decided for myself what kind of clothing I wear without fear to stay for court or give any responsibility. But now already, not now already and not in the future, it's not possible anymore. People like us who speak the truth about Islam, speak about the danger for our countries by mass immigration, they have to live with sanctions, persecution and death threats. And we can see that in my country, Geert Wilders is staying before court since a statement about more or less Moroccans and have 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year bodyguards to protect him. That they arrested me because they thought I was a, it was a provocation against Muslims that I wear a pig hat by a demonstration. That's the same. That one of my Dutch speakers have to come for court because he is saying what about Muslims. That shows that also in the Netherlands the Islam is gaining more and more ground and we lose every day more and more of our freedom. Therefore, right now it's necessary Right now it's necessary that we show that restrictions, intimidation and brute force against us make us harder to fight for all which we stand for in Europe. Because we have to st stop this. The Islam is not a religion. It's not peaceful, but an ideology of hatred, terror and war. It's necessary to ban the Islam from our continent. Sorry. From our continent. This ideology which is like water and fire with our democracy, we must forbid. And Islam is not a part of the Netherlands or not of another or European country. And it will never belong to it when it's up to me. This had nothing to do with xenophonic, nothing to do with racism, but only with defending our countries for a big disaster. Our safety is usually under pressure. Almost daily we hear terror treats, the police policy of open borders, the mass immigration from Islamic countries, and it's mostly looking away from our governments in Europa, provide less security. In what kind of world we live in that we, by the European football championship that is taking place in the moment, we expect earlier a terror attack than a goal by the beginning of the TV broadcast. What kind of world we live in that if a Muslim is boarding a plane, we get a sense of fear. 
what kind of world we live in where homos, Jews, moving out of fear or not pass through certain neighborhoods. What kind of world we live in, an Iman says that wearing a short skirt is an invitation for rape by Muslims. That's not normal. And we don't want to live in a world like that, but it's happening in our countries already. And meanwhile, it's unsafe anywhere in the West. Sunday, the 12th of June, we have seen a horror attack in Orlando. 49 innocent people killed by an Alu Akbar calling Muslim terrorist. It's a sign on the wall that hated gay people, women, Jews and non-Muslims and they are living under us here in Europe, in my own Netherlands, in your Denmark and wherever. The Islam is getting food cut to underground. And also this time no massive protest by Muslims as well as never happened before by a terrorist attack because Islam justifies terror as are thinking most Muslims. And of course we had also no Muslim terror groups in the past, like IRA and RAF have caused fear and terror in Europe. But this group never had a such huge following of weirdos as the barbarian ideology Islam. When 47% of the Muslims have fundamentalist flow and 45% dislike Jews and prefer the rules of the Quran, the book full of hateful lyrics instead our laws, we have a problem. And the problem is Islam. The Islam is the national socialism is in the present time. And when we don't do anything now, we can't say later, we didn't know it. And how long we need, how many terrorist at attacks are still necessary, how many innocent deaths we would have to get it until we finally understand how dangerous is this barbaric ideology. We do not want those religious fanatics in our country. We, don't, we will live in peace with decency and respect. And we have to eliminate these parallel societies, our countries. We don't want the Islam society where we, where we are second class citizens, where women and gays are discriminated, where anti Semitism is very high, where crime is enormous, and where our police forces no longer have control over it. That's why as not as the lying press and our politicians will tell the people, supporters of Pekida or Kayatwilders are a danger for our country and his democracy. No, the danger are people who are fighting with ES in Syria and Iraq and come now in our countries like a refugee. No, the danger are people with two nationalities who live in our countries. People who vote 2014, 15 for Sultan and dictator Erdogan and helped him to press the president. No, the danger are people who live here without speaking our language, without doing anything for our country and go to mosque where they listen to a hate preacher. No, the danger are people that say, when you go and fight for yes, you are a hero. All these people are a danger for our country and its democracy. And not a hero is who fights for ES, but you and I are heroes. Heroes are people that support us. Heroes are telling the truth about Islam and try other people to protect against Islam. Heroes are all they fighting for their country to make sure that Denmark stays Denmark and Netherlands stays the Netherlands and not be an Islamic state. Traitors are press and politicians who cooperate with the growing Muslim population. With Philip Blint, a, li a liar or ignorant are people who not see the problem or not understand it. So fight for your country. Then let's stay Denmark, Denmark, and Netherlands, the Netherlands, and Europe, Europe. Thank you.